Apparently there's a bus somewhere free. Takes us to the water taxi. Thank you very much, sir. Got to purchase the tickets on the boat. Don't pay the ferryman until I get to the other side. Beautiful city. Nice. So it should be here at 9.45. Perfect timing. give you a heads up if I was to take an uber or a taxi here it would have been 20 to 30 dollars uh, but the water taxi is 20 bucks and uh, you get to come into the city really cool on the water so I totally recommend when you come to Boston from the airport take the water taxi and it was free on the bus to get to the water taxi have about 10 hours to do what I need to do and then get down to the water taxi get back to the airport jump on a plane so uh, the main thing I want to do is the Union Oyster House it's apparently the oldest restaurant in America possibly all of the the continent of North America it's a very, very, very old restaurant. So that's what I want to show you guys. 
that's what I want to do. That's what I want to experience today. Apparently everything was within about a mile circle of stuff. So everything here is walkable. It's a very small condensed city. Uh, the only thing that's far away that you might want to go to would be Fenway Park. And uh, I just looked it up and it's about 50 minute walk from here. So uh, just to go there, take a picture and come all the way back. It's two hours out of my day gone. So I don't think I'll be able to do that. I also take a taxi or something. But uh, yeah, let's just keep checking out the city. Himself. There you go, Samuel Adams, 1722 to 1803, a patriot. He organized the revolution and signed the Declaration of Independence. So there it is. Opens at 11, so we've got about 15 minutes. Hi, welcome everyone. Thank hey. you. Let's open seating at the bar. See okay. a bar here and a bar up the steps. You like a table? Check it out. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Those oysters. Oyster House, so they draw all the stars and presidents and just famous people that I've eaten here. Awesome. Take it for one. Please. This place is great. Oh, awesome. fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Nice little cubby spot for me. I'm going to give you some bread, butter, a glass of water, and of course, the Sam Adams. Cheers. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I wanna, I wanna try a bunch of stuff. And I'm thinking maybe, I wanna try their um, clam chowder, but I'll just do a cup. That way I don't have to eat a lot. I'd love to try their lobster ravioli. And then I guess I have to do oysters. I'm at the oyster house, right? They also have a, a cold seafood sampler for $22.95. So chucked oysters, cherry stone clams, and shrimp. So depending on how many oysters I get, that way I get to sample more things. But that lobster ravioli looks great. Not the lobster. Set to order? Yes. Yeah. Definitely want to do a cup of your uh, clam chowder. Okay. Lobster ravioli. The appetizer portion? Yeah. So the cold sampler is two oysters, two clams, three pieces of shrimp cocktail. Mm. Shrimp. Yeah, I'll do that. The cold water? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Looks like cornbread. Just to find out. Crumbly. Very nice. 
It is like cornmeal. It's got a nice little sweetness to it. Oh, thank you. Mm. It smells great. It's going for that extreme close up here. Oh, it looks way creamier than at the airport. The airport was a little bit more runnier. I'm not sure if they thinned it out, but this is definitely creamier. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mmm. It is definitely amazing. And I, I prefer clam chowder to be creamier, so this one is better than the airports. But the airports was still good. It was nice to try it. That's what I did at Kelly's. Nice chunks of clam there. Definitely give their clam chowder a try. I knew a sampler like that. A little cup. It was that good. Silly me, I forgot to put the oyster crackers on. I just like kind of looked over and I saw these little bags and this bowl. And they give you lots of crackers and I forgot to put them on. Noob. How was the chowder? Oh, it was great. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, chowder. that looks fantastic. Your ravioli should be right up. Thank you. Seafood sauce. Horseradish. Oh, 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 that horseradish smells potent. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. We've got those succulent shrimp, juicy clams, and two freshly shocked oysters. We're definitely going to be squeezing this lemon. So I'll put some lemon in each pod. I've got lots of lemon. I'm going to squeeze all over my shrimp. Got two, so I'm gonna go heavy. There we go again. Let everybody know in the comments below if you love raw oysters. Start writing. I'm gonna see if I can do this. I definitely want to do You know what? I want to do a shrimp first. So I think this is gonna be seafood sauce. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna put a little bit. Well, their, their seafood sauce is very. Spicy. Mmm. Yep. Nice and firm shrimp. Very tasty. Okay, let's see if I do this right. Let's put a little bit of the horseradish in there. I've got to break it off the shell, move it around. Not the, the most pleasant looking thing to eat. <laughs> First one going down. There's sauce on that too. Beautiful. I haven't done a clam in a very long time. So I'm going to do it again. Put a little bit of the horseradish on there. Seafood sauce. Move it around. Break it up. I think you're just supposed to down it this way, right? Doesn't always work. Gotta break it free. I've got to break free. There you go. Got <laughs> a piece of ice cube in there. The clam was delicious. Oysters taste better, in my opinion.
and shrimp on my fave. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. All right. Is everything going okay so far? Oh, yeah. Far? Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I'd say most people uh, don't like oysters and clams because of this factor that it's all gooey and raw. But the taste is fantastic. I should have brought over my a lobster ravioli. So you can either do this four piece or an eight piece. I guess I could have done an eight piece. I don't need to. I just want to sample everything. That's what I want. I'm going to do the clam first because I definitely don't want uh, clam to be the last thing I taste out of these things. I want to get this down first. Again, it tasted great. Yeah. I prefer oysters over clams. It's, it's good, but like I said, I'd rather eat, eat a couple dozen of these down the hatch. Oh yeah. Way better flavor. And I'm glad I did the sampler. So I got to try a bunch of different things. Sampler, hold on. I'm curious to know if you prefer oysters over clams. I think if people liked clams more, then this place would have been called the Union Clam House, but it's not. Look at this. Mm, it's like eating a whole egg. Mm. Very creamy. Nice and buttery. I'm getting the flavors of the lobster inside there. It's really good. I should almost, I almost want like a spoon. Let's dredge it through. There we go. Oh yeah, all nice and drippy. Mm. Beautiful. There you go. Getting that close up of me dragging it through all that beautiful sauce, tip it over, hope it didn't just splatter that on me. Oh yeah. Lobster ravioli. I could eat a nice big bowl. Like 16 pieces. Forget the eight. Mm. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad I came here. Thanks for joining me. I'm not sure where we're going next, but we'll figure it out. I just remembered I wanted to try the Boston cream pie because I'm in Boston. Wow. That looks awesome. Thank you. Totally different than what I was expecting. I don't even know what I was expecting. I think I was thinking this gonna come like a uh, coconut cream pie. You get a slice of it. That's what I was imagining what Boston cream pie looks like. There's your extreme close-up, ladies and gentlemen. The Boston cream pie looks like two layers of cake with the cream in the middle and then the chocolate on the back side there. I guess that would have been on the top. Drizzled with chocolate and whipped cream on either side. Let's dig in. Definitely want part of the chocolate first. It's way more dense than I thought too. I thought it was going to be all really fluffy. Mm. It's a very moist cake. The chocolate that's on the top is really nice. Nice and rich. Let's see if we can get to that middle of the pie here. This tastes like a nice custard in the middle. When it comes to like the Boston cream donut, some of the donut places put like a certain style of custard in it and I don't like it. So I was really afraid that I wasn't gonna like this. But this is awesome because it's more like a regular custard than like a Bavarian kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The whipped cream's dynamite. It's a nice add on to the side there. 
supply. Uh, I, excellent, thank you. I can leave this here, but there's no rush at all. Okay, okay thank you. Well, I'm going to finish this up by myself, and we'll see you outside. And here's the breakdown for you guys. So it came to 79.48 plus the 20% tip of 14.85, and it came to 94.34. It was yummy. Of course, they have a gift shop. You can buy Union Oyster House glasses and shirts, magnets. <laughs> it's an oyster. Very cool. Thank you. It's actually raining right now, so I have a uh, little rain jacket shell. Lunch here was amazing. Uh, if you're ever stopping by Boston, definitely check out the oysters uh, and the lobster ravioli and the Boston cream pie. All right, this is a Holocaust memorial, and uh, I believe they filled those glass monoliths with names of people oh my gosh their numbers the, the numbers that they put on prisoners holocaust survivors very nice boston